Hello everybody, Roy here again from Roy's Model Railway. Um, on my last video I did um, with the um, cab ride, um, it was suggested by uh, Robert from Robert's Train Set to, uh, that I do a video on how I, how I superimposed the um, cab picture on top of the video. Um, so I thought, well, that, yeah, well, I'll, I'll do that then. It uh, give a t tutorial on how to do the uh, create a mask, as they call it, and uh, you don't need any special tools. Um, I actually used Paint 3D, uh, which is a Windows, um, it's on Windows 10, part of the uh, Windows Paint. Uh, section but windows paint you can't do you can't save a uh, transparent picture so um, you go into the paint 3d and then you can uh, you can edit it with the uh, transparent backgrounds so uh, the uh, the hardest thing of doing this is getting the, the picture in the first place um, because you need to, obviously you need a picture uh, where it doesn't take up too much of the of the, um, the view that you're trying to film. It wants to be forward facing, and uh, yeah, and the also you need um, to, to have um, sort of public domain um, picture. So. Um, you can't you, you can't just take anyone's picture and cut it out and do what you want with it. So um, although you might find the best picture is someone else's, you can't always use it. So um, not legally anyway. So anyway, I'll get on with the tutorial and we we'll go and see see how I did it. All right. So let's carry on from here with the tutorial. Right then, well here we are then, let's, um, first of all we've got to get a picture, so let's have a look at this one. And so we've got this one here, um, which is a good example because you can see directly forward view is a straight view ahead and just got the the uh, control panel down the bottom here. I mean, sometimes it's so if you could find one with a wider view, but that that's a typical view. All right, now this is um, royalty free, and you only need a small small size. Um, you don't need to go to the bigger size because you pay more for them. All right, so now this is already downloaded, so um, we'll go to. We close this window and we go to me downloads. All right. So now we go to the downloads folder and downloads. And I'm going to know it's this one here. So we do a right click on it. We do a right click on it. Open with Paint 3D. Right there we are. That's the picture. And then you can um, you can adjust um, the size of this picture. What you're looking at from here. Right now, what you want to do, you've got to remove all this area in this window here. That's all you've got to basically do. So you go to let's move this. You go to canvas and you put transparent canvas on all right now you go back to uh, brushes and you pick the rubber and you can adjust the size of the rubber from here so, so start not too near the edge all right there now see how it comes up that grey and then what you want to do is carefully now I'm doing this with the keypad 
So what I do is, uh, I get, after each stroke, I lift my finger off, off the left click, and then I go back and drag a bit more. And that way, if you go wrong, I overstep the mark, or it flicks up on a bit you didn't want to take out, you can click the undo, and you ain't got to start from the beginning. So carefully go right the way around the edge. Try not, try not to go over the actual. Well, I was doing a little bit there, but that's not too bad. You never get it perfect. I'll come back to that little corner later. So you can pick a smaller brush and get in that corner and remove it. At the moment I'm just carefully going down. Carefully going down the area, just the outside. Once you've done the outside, once you've done the outside edge, you can make a bigger brush and clear the rest of the interior. Let's see how that shot up there. So, you know, but if I want, it doesn't matter if it just shot downwards. That's when I lift my finger off of the. That's how good. I mean, you might find it better with a mouse or something, but I, I don't. I find it better with my keypad. Now we're not going to keep the uh, the wiper blade in there, be. That would be too hard. Now I've gone a little bit jerky there, but don't worry, we can come back to it later. Now I'm going to come down this side with this big brush. Now I joked again there, maybe. Yeah, I'll take a smaller brush and go around this bit. There we go. We'll go even smaller, getting these corners first. In that corner. There, a little bit there to clean up. Now, then, let's give this bit. If you want to keep this microphone in, or you could wipe it straight across at the bottom and not have the microphone. Anyway, we do the other bit. Well, that's the outside. Now we can get a bigger brush. Start in the middle. We don't know how big it's going to end up. Right now, then you can just clear it. Oh, that went. See how that went over there. Well, if you do it wrong, just go to undo. Start again. Right. Come back with another smaller brush, just do those bits. Oh, 
Right, that's cleared that. Now then, just take a smaller brush we're going to finish that last bit over here. And that is it. Now, if you're going to do any tidying up of the uh, area, take a smaller brush again and then just... Oh, I've got a little bit too much there, but it don't matter. Oh, and then you did too much there. That's it. That's not too bad. Let me go a bit, just a bit smaller. Edges. Well, I think we'll leave it at that. Right now, if you if you if you've heard like you've done a little bit if you want to fill back in and the color where you went over something wrong what you can do is um, take a brush set this type of finish and leaving it on polished metal take the color picker across it is not the round bit Across has got to be on the colour you want. Right now, it keeps going back to bloody custom, and I don't want that. Don't want that. Oh, I don't know. Normally that does it all right. I don't know why it hasn't. But anyway. Let's try a different finish. <coughs> Matt. So an even smaller brush. Just to do that little bit. Oh, well, that do. Right, okay. Now let's, let's take the colour picker here. Try and get this corner in a bit. Right. Now then, that's pretty well it. Oh, there they are. That's it. Right, that's, that's good enough, I think. I'll right, leave it there. Now, the next thing you want to do is size it to the proportions of your um, video, well if you've got HD it's 1920 by 1080 so um, go over here to, um, where is it now, canvas, canvas, let's see, go back to canvas, that's it, now then you go 1920, here stretch it, it's rather than cropping it by a thousand and eighty one zero eight zero. Right, resize image with canvas. I don't have that ticked. That's in pixels. You can use these to skew the thing. Right, so that's that. Now, use the uh, which is under there. Bring that back down to a. There you are. Now that's your finished picture. All right. That's not bad, that will fit your video screen entirely. Uh, providing you've made that the same sort of, what depends what your video resolution is. Whether you've got black bars down the side or not. Right. So uh, we we'll save it at that. So there we go, menu. Save as. Image. Now, this is the important bit. You must say you no good saving it as a JPEG. You must save it as 
PNG. PNG will retain the uh, the clear it the clear the clear background or or transparent as they call it. Right now, we'll give that a, so we'll give that different name. So we go cab uh, eight. So I know what one is. Right, save, save. Right. So that's it, right? Yeah, it's your cab eight, right? So we close this window. Don't need that anymore. Just right now. Then you go to um, close the download folder. You want a uh, the video editor now. The one in uh, Windows Video Editor it won't work because you can't layer. You can't layer on top of the uh, things, but if you want a free one, this open shot video editor will do the job. Yeah. So I'll open this. It's got multiple things. It's it got multiple tracks you can layer on top of one another, and the top track is the prominent one. So you put your your picture on that one and the video on the one underneath so we go to file just demonstrate this so we go to file um, import files it's a, quite an easy uh, uh, okay now where did I save it <laughs> yeah have interiors right um so, so it was um that one right it was that one cab eight right open and draw that drag, drag that down onto the top line of this bit of this particular video editor i mean your video editor might be slightly different right you, you, you drag it to how long you want it to play through right, then we go file again import file we've got to look for a, a video now you want a video so um come here on the videos videos right uh, let's have a look at this one right this is a do right this will do for this demo, it won't matter. Put that there. No, we've got to open it. I keep dragging it from there. We've got to open it first so it appears in there. And then you drag it down, put it on that line, right? Now it shows your cab. There you are. It's a bit jerky like that, but once, once it's rendered properly, it comes out all right. Yeah, you get the gist of it, right? Hopefully that's uh, help anyone. Uh, uh, but we'll leave it at that for now. Bye. Now, right, uh, to continue with this uh, cutting out uh, figures, you can you can actually if you want to take a picture of yourself or in some person and um, superimpose them on the uh, track you could you could um, you could cut out a picture of yourself and put yourself on a platform or something like that but um, the easiest way to take of uh, cutting pictures of yourself is um, well just take a picture with your camera and then uh, we take take an example. Um, let's, let's have a look at this. So we take an example picture. See this. We'll take this one. Um, and what I've done here. Took a picture of myself, and what it was, I've trimmed it, down, cropped it down to as as least amount of. Uh, 
the least amount of background is it was really a lot wider than that crop it to as close as you can to yourself first all right then you can go and get a free to use program there's lots of them about on the internet but this particular one i'll demonstrate it with this so we go to this uh, photo scissors right so what we do we just um get our picture and, and uh, drop it onto this where are we we drop it on here somewhere upload image you can upload the image from here or you can drag and drop it so if we go to now to um, pictures and uh, that particular picture is this one right upload image open right. leave it to do its own work right and there it is it's done it all for you a lot easier than trying to trace around it if it doesn't get everything right you, you can uh, you can use some tools similar to what you use in paint but generally if you if you it recognizes people so you can cut that out what this always does here what is that now i don't exactly i don't know what that is right okay anyway that's um let's expand it a bit right so then you can save that in there where, where is it you save it now right there. oh download don't hear me, I'm here downstairs, me in the face, download, right? You, you, it, it don't seem to give you the option of where to save it, it just says download. Anyway, download it. Download it. In order to download in high quality, you don't need high quality, so you don't need to purchase anything. Just download in low resolution. Right? Now let's open, open file. It's downloaded onto your computer. And there it is. All right. So uh, you save that. Then. All right. So it's already on your computer. You can save it into your pictures if you like. So I'm going to put it in. Let's save it to pictures where the other one was. Pictures. Let's save it next to that one. So we might save self. It's got P. You must be in PNG again. That's what you've got to do. Otherwise, you lose all the background. And that, and that. So that's that. All right. We can close that down there. Close that down. Now, if you go to um, that. Yeah. Open shop video editor again. And then this time we go get the picture of the um, import file, right? So, which is, um, what was it? Um, pictures. And that one there, right? And this one. This is a picture of me standing there, right? Right, that's right here. Mm. Please move to where you want it. Now, an example of what you can do is place yourself on the platform like this now this is it again on the top here now when you click on it all the properties come up here so what you can do is scale that so if you look at um, scale down here uh, at scale x put it down to about 50 and then scale y put it back down to about 
I'm going to put it down till it, bring it down till it looks right. All right. Then you can move it, move your position on the platform. Move your position on the platform to um, where is that in their location? Move this one. Oh, sorry about that. The main one. Where's he gone now? Oh, he ain't got me. I don't think that's the one, hang on. Come on, no. I think it's this one, got X and Y. Location, this would be, yeah. Does he keep disappearing? Right, there he is, right. In replacing X and Y. Place yourself on the station somewhere. Bring yourself more forward to this. Well, that's one example. Mm. But then, now, alternatively, alternatively, you could put yourself in the cab. But using the uh, Popping yourself down like that. Same as you can see. But you then you've got to keep moving the uh, position of the self in the cap when the train moves again. Which is a lot of hard work. There's just little things that you can do. I'll leave it at that.